Hey everyone. Welcome to Top Tech News. This is your news channel for getting updated with the latest tech news headlines and their impact on business and our lives. To read the full news article for any of the news that we cover, simply click on its link given below in the description. To stay updated, show us some love and hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. This way you would be informed whenever we upload a new video. Hi, my name is D and I am your host for today. Today's top headlines are Tesla is working on new key fob with auto locking immune to relay attacks. Porsche 3D prints lighter and stronger electric drive housings versus conventional ones. Battlefield will preview in the spring and debut at the 2021 holidays. Boeing's F 15X jet makes its first flight. EA CEO says EA Sports could grow to 500 million players in five years. Let's get started. Tesla is working on new key fob with auto locking immune to relay attacks. Tesla is working on a new key fob with auto unlocking and power based on the new UWB technology that is immune to relay attacks. Thefts of Tesla vehicles are quite rare in North America, but in Europe, they have some more sophisticated thieves that managed a string of Tesla vehicle thefts through relay attacks, and most vehicles haven't been recovered. A relay attack generally consists of using a device that relays the signal from a nearby key fob in order to unlock a vehicle. In response to those attacks, Tesla started rolling out extra layers of security with an improved cryptography key fob and optional pin to drive feature. Tesla has since been working to improve its security even through software updates at the key fob level. Now Tesla is looking to add another layer of security. According to a new filing with the FCC, Tesla is integrating a new single chip impulse radio ultra wideband, or IRUWB, better known as UWB, inside its new key fob. This new technology would be linked to a new key fob, but several phone manufacturers are also adopting it, meaning that it could be implemented to Tesla's phone key feature. As has been previously shared, Tesla is making its phone app the main key for Model S and Model X, with the new updated design, and the app is already the main key for Model 3 and Model Y. Porsche 3D prints lighter and stronger electric drive housings versus conventional ones. In December, Porsche announced that it had been 3D printing prototype housings for electric drives that were stronger, lighter, and much quicker to manufacture. The engine gearbox units produced using this method were even able to pass all of the company's quality and stress tests without issue. Porsche manufactures the housings using a 3D printing method called laser metal fusion, which entails a laser beam heating and melting a powder surface depending on the desired contours. This method allows Porsche to produce an engine gearbox that is both 10% lighter and 100% stronger because of the inherent lattice structures. Another significant upside to manufacturing parts this way is the ease and speed of creating new components or making changes to existing ones. For example, an entirely new part can be designed and then physically printed very quickly with no need to do things such as create new tooling to manufacture the part. Frank Heilford, project manager in the powertrain advanced development department at Porsche said, this proves that additive manufacturing with all its advantages is also suitable for larger and highly stressed components in electric sports cars. Halford even went as far as to say that electric drives with 3D printed parts could be used in the future for limited edition super sports cars. Implementing 3D printed parts into Porsche's electric vehicles such as the Taycan and upcoming all-electric Macan makes a lot of sense when considering their heavy weight due to the battery packs. For instance, the Porsche Taycan 4S weighs in at 5,128 pounds, which is about 2,000 pounds heavier than the Spider. Having the capability to instead 3D print a few of the heavier parts of the car would cut down the curb weight, potentially squeezing more performance out of it. Porsche also says that there is potential for it to begin producing obscure spare parts using 3D printing for older vehicles that are no longer being produced. The company also stated that it could begin to produce customization parts that appeal to a more niche customer base without the huge cost typically associated with such a move. The possibilities this manufacturing method unlocks could truly be endless. Battlefield will preview in the spring and debut at the 2021 holidays. Electronic Arts CEO Andrew Wilson said that EA will show off the Battlefield first-person shooter game in the spring, with a debut during the 2021 holidays. In an earnings conference call with analysts, Wilson said, We're looking forward to sharing a lot more about our fiscal year 2022 plans in the months ahead, including our next Battlefield experience, which will mark a return to all-out military warfare. He added the game takes full advantage of the power of next-generation platforms to bring massive, immersive battles to life with more layers than ever before. Featuring maps with unprecedented scale, the next edition of Battlefield takes all the destruction, player agency, 
vehicle and weapon combat that the franchise is known for and elevates it to another level. The team is focused and the game is ahead of our internal milestones. We'll reveal the game in the spring, and deliver a defining battlefield experience for our players in the 2021 holiday season. Chief Financial Officer Blake Jorgensen further said that Battlefield would debut in the third fiscal quarter ending December 31, 2021. Formal guidance will follow on our Q4 call, but I can tell you now that the Battlefield team is doing an incredible job, Jorgensen said. They're way ahead of where they were in prior product cycles, on track for their earliest feature complete in franchise history. Boeing's F-15X jet makes its first flight. Boeing's first F-15X took to the skies for its inaugural flight on 2 February, a milestone that will allow the company to deliver the first two planes to the U.S. Air Force by the end of March. After a couple of hours of delays due to weather, which also held up plans to conduct a first flight on 1 February, Boeing test pilot Matt Fat Giza took off from Lambert International Airport in St. Louis, Missouri. The flight lasted approximately 90 minutes, and the plane performed as expected, Boeing said in a news release. The Air Force first added the F-15X to its fiscal 2020 budget at the behest of the Defense Department's Cost Assessment and Program Evaluation Office, or CAPE. With the Air Force and Air National Guard's fleet of 1970s-era F-15 CD jets showing signs of age, the service needed to either conduct an expensive life extension or buy new planes to replace them. But with F-35 operations and sustainment costs still financially burdensome, CAPE officials argued that buying an upgraded version of the F-15E Strike Eagle, with new features developed primarily at the cost of foreign customers like Qatar and Saudi Arabia, would be a more cost-conscious option. The Air Force placed its first order for the F-15X in July 2020, awarding a contract for the first lot of eight jets with a value not to exceed about $1.2 billion. The entire program has a ceiling value of $23 billion. The new jets come with a host of modern features including Honeywell's ADCP-2 mission computer, the Eagle Passive Active Warning and Survivability System Electronic Warfare System made by BA Systems, the Raytheon Technologies and APG-82 radar, fly-by-wire flight controls and a digital cockpit. The service expects to buy at least 144 F-15X aircraft, but the contract includes options to allow the Air Force to purchase up to 200 jets. Once delivered to the Air Force, the first two F-15Xs will go to Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, for testing with the remaining six aircraft set to be delivered to the base in FY23. EA CEO says EA Sports could grow to 500 million players in five years. Electronic Arts CEO Andrew Wilson has said that he is quite bullish on games and that the number of EA Sports fans could double in the coming years. In the past fiscal year, Wilson said more than 230 million people engage with EA Sports franchises and content. EA delivered six new sports games in fiscal 2021 ending March 31st. We believe we can grow to 500 million players and viewers in EA Sports experiences over the next five years, Wilson said. He said EA set a new record of nearly 6 million daily active players in FIFA Ultimate Team in December, and FIFA Ultimate Team matches have grown a staggering 177% year over year. FIFA Online 4 in South Korea has had higher player acquisition in every quarter of this year compared to last year, and EA now has nearly 21 million players in FIFA Mobile Asia. EA is working with Clab in Japan on a mobile sports game. We are bringing FIFA Online to new territories, including Russia, Poland and Turkey, with a combined audience of 80 million players, Wilson said. We are also accelerating our focus on mobile, with six new soccer mobile experiences in development today for different regions and genres. Wilson said Madden NFL has more players engaged in the franchise than ever before. NHL engagement is up 13% year-over-year, and since launch, UFC 4 has consistently had 20% more daily players than the previous game. Wilson said FIFA has a growing audience among Gen Z gamers. Wilson said that the company has underperformed in basketball for the past five years and that has been disappointing. So EA is working on how it can innovate there. In response to a question, Wilson said that EA's Star Wars titles have sold more than 52 million copies, generating $3 billion in revenues. And noted that Star Wars, Galaxy of Heroes on mobile is a billion-dollar franchise. He said the fact that others are making games based on Star Wars will not affect EA's commitment to the Star Wars intellectual property. It was also shared that Japan is the second-largest market for Apex Legends, and that is one reason the game is coming to the Nintendo Switch on March 9. Apex Legends will come to mobile in three to four months as a soft launch. Overall, Apex Legends is expected to generate more than $500 million in bookings in the fiscal year, 
said Blake Jorgensen, chief financial officer, in the analyst call. Wilson mentioned that he is excited about the upcoming acquisition of Codemasters for $1.2 billion. That deal will give EA more racing games such as F1. Wilson noted that The Sims 4 has 33 million players to date, and the Maxis team just delivered the 10th expansion pack for the game. And EA now has 13 million players for its subscription services, including platforms such as Xbox, PlayStation, Steam, and the EA client. In all, EA has more than 35 new games in various levels of incubation and development for the future, Wilson said. In the third fiscal quarter, digital sales were 62% of total units sold, up 13 percentage points from a year ago. Overall, Jorgensen said EA will grow revenues on top of its $6.1 billion expected for the fiscal year ending March 31st. Asked if EA would consider user-generated content games, Wilson said the company looks at The Sims as a franchise that appeals to player creation, but he said in time EA would also introduce more innovations that take advantage of player agency and creation at the player level. Well that's about it for today. Hope you found it helpful. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. And do show us some love by clicking on the thumbs up button. Have a wonderful day everyone and we will be back again soon.